We are talking a lot about cells, right? Don't you wish to take a look at it? Well, this is a cell. And if you look closely, you will find that within the cell, there is an important organelle known as the nucleus, which was found by another great scientist, Sir Robert Brown, in the year 1831. Well, it didn't stop there. In 1839, Jan Evangelista Perkin J, or let's call him Sir Perkin J, found a fluid substance within the cell. He then decided to coin a new term for it. He called it protoplasm. And you know what? This protoplasm is actually made up of two different regions, that is, the cytoplasm and the nucleoplasm. Well, if you don't know what these regions are, I'll tell you. The region that you see within the cell is known as cytoplasm and the region present within the nucleus of the cell is known as the nucleoplasm. So now you know what protoplasm is and you also know that the protoplasm is made up of cytoplasm and nucleoplasm. Okay Cham, so now we know that who all discovered a cell, a living cell, the nucleus and the protoplasm, right? So now I guess it's time to stop discussing about these things because we urgently have to meet two great scientists who introduced cell theory. Well, it's none other than Schleiden and Schwann. They contributed to the cell theory in different years. Schleiden contributed in the year 1838 and Schwann in the year 1839. And together they put down a theory which stated that all the plants and animals are made up of cells and that the cell is the basic unit of life. Well, it seems like Sir Virchow was interested in expanding the cell theory. In 1855, he suggested that all cells arise from the pre-existing cells. Or in simple words, we can say that if this is a cell, then according to his theory, it might have arised from the division of another old cell. I hope you understood this. <music>